any economy today, there's no prosperous nation that ICT sector is not the backbone for its development. And the expression of the goodness of that sector is what you see in what we now call the digital economy globally. Uh, digital economy, of course, in Nigeria, when you think about it thoroughly, recorded about 5.09 billion in revenue in 2019. By 2021, the revenue of the digital economy, just the digital economy, was already at about 9.97 .9 billion. This, this uh, set, sector or subsector, as we may call it, is being projected to generate up to 18.3 billion by 2026, just in about two years' time, uh, which is just around the corner. For those who follow Nigeria, as you know, within the digital economy space, is one of the top two destinations for capital, foreign direct investment to technology startups on the African continent. In some years, we're number one. Last year, I believe we raised just about $2 billion in foreign direct investment to technology startups who are the engines driving this progress. Yes, that's our chairperson coming in. I've recognized you already, but it's good to see you catch up with us even as we get this going. And again, if you continue to follow, um, within the digital economy space, a phenomenon that is popular is the classification of companies that are worth up to a billion dollars. And Nigeria is one of the few countries in Africa with a significant number of these companies. Uh, they're called unicorns. In Nigeria, we have Flutterwave that we can be proud of, Paystack that we can be proud of, uh, Jumia, started uh, from Nigeria, which we can be proud of. Uh, Interswitch, which is a traditional uh, local company, is another company that we can be proud of. And of course, Andela as well. Can we have some decorum in the room as well? Teslin. These are companies that started out of this country. These are companies that are demonstrating the fact that our digital economy is indeed strong and has the potential to lift Nigeria to where it should be. When we talk about the valuation of these companies, we shouldn't forget the amount of quality jobs that they create. It's not just about the money, but the jobs they create. And our sector, like I mentioned, is extremely special and unique because of its capability to unlock opportunities and raise productivity in every other sector. If the digital economy is strong, it will catalyze development and progress in education because we can use technology to better educate our people. It will create job opportunities for our young people because globally there's shortage in the technology workforce. And countries like Nigeria with our population being extremely youthful is actually the future of the world. When you look at countries like the UK, the US, these are aging population. They're not giving birth to markets. So their future is tied to ours really strongly, but only if we do what we need to do to strengthen uh, our workforce locally. That is why today is a very special day. And again, I can't but appreciate both Senator Salisu and Honorable Adedeji for, for giving leadership to this bill. Because the bill we're here to discuss today is the bill that will accelerate the progress in our digital economy. You can imagine everything I've mentioned so far. There's actually no clear legislation that is pushing competition and ensuring development in that space, not one. We have legislations and bills that, are, that looks after so many other things, but there's no clear legislation for the national uh, digital economy and e-governance in Nigeria. So today, uh, this bill, which we promise to support, our hope is that this will also be the first bill that will travel across the entire country. Uh, we've been seeking support, and I think we have the support of the World Bank. Again, I'd like to appreciate them for uh, coming to our, to our support on this important bill to ensure that we can actually take this bill to every state in Nigeria. That's what we want to do, because we consider it to be a bill that is important for all of our people, and we want to give them the opportunity to be able to review, but also give feedback as well. As you hear later, we believe that the bill will support the growth and transformation of Nigerians' economy through the application 
and the use of digital technology in all facets of life in, in Nigeria. You see that this bill will create a enabling, enabling environment for fair competition to promote innovation, growth, and competitiveness for the Nigerian economy. With, without further ado, and I won't give it all out, I'll allow the two chairpersons who are the sponsors of the bill, who are giving leadership to it, to also speak more. And I believe that in the course of the day, uh, we'll all be able to answer some of your questions. Thank you all so very much for taking the time to join us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honourable Minister. And